Brennan Gwari local government area of Kaduna State, one of the epicenters of banditry and kidnapping, has been in the news over the years for the wrong reasons. Hundreds of residents of the area have been killed, while thousands of those still alive have been displaced from their homes due to constant attacks by bandits. With their houses and farmland destroyed or occupied by the bandits, the residents have lost their means of livelihood and have taken refuge in IDP camps. To ameliorate their sufferings, the National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons visits the camp with relief materials. The focus is to go beyond giving handouts, but also work out modalities for them to return home. As the federal government agency mandated to coordinate national action for the protection and assistance of all persons of concern, our focus moving forward is to go beyond giving handouts to providing more sustainable solutions of return or resettlement, rehabilitation and reintegration. It is in line with this that the Commission is partnering with the Central Bank of Nigeria to implement Project Reliance. The Kaduna State Deputy Governor and some of the internally displaced persons commend the gesture, but their biggest worry is that the attacks by bandits may not stop. The incessant attacks is not just worrying to you, it is also to each and every one of us, especially for those of us from uh, Kaduna. Um, it has thrown quite a lot of our people into hardships that we can't even just imagine. Losing your homes, losing your livelihood, and losing everything that you have ever worked for is something that is, you know, takes an effect on a person, not just physically, but also mentally. Data from the Kaduna State Emergency Management Agency and National Commission for Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced Persons indicates that about 1,194 households have been affected by bandit attacks in burning Gwari local government alone.